Last month, Poland became the first NATO and EU member to buy drones from Turkey. The deal was announced just before NATO leaders met in Brussels, where they expressed increasing concern about the threats from Russia, both to the alliance and to Eastern Europe. I'm Andrew Hopkins, and I've been speaking to the Polish Foreign Minister, Zbigniew Rao, one-on-one. -on -one. Foreign Minister, thank you very much for talking to TRT World. I wanted to ask you first about the NATO summit, which finished a few days ago. In the final communique, uh, there were various comments about Russia, saying that it was breaching its values, the, the values, the principles, and trust in its relationship with NATO countries. It was persisting with aggressive rhetoric and was not living up to its international obligations. How do you think Russia can be dealt with at this moment in time? The most important thing uh, in our dealing with Russia is to not to take it for a trustworthy partner. Russia has proved so many times depriving the sovereignty and territorial integrity of its, uh, of its neighbors, for example, something that we in Poland feel very strongly about because take, moreover, who is most responsible for the present crisis in Belarus? Russia again. So, and if we add to that of the cyber attacks, hybrid wars, and so on, so you have a, you have a picture that doesn't leave any doubt that Russia cannot be treated as a as trustworthy partner. So, the only thing to 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 do is to stay vigilant, just as as the, every every responsible. A member state of the NATO alliance uh, uh, is in this in this respect, and we are we on the eastern flank are especially sensitive about it. Take the situation uh, uh, of my country of Poland. We are neighboring with two countries that, uh, that are in fact at war, Ukraine and, and Russia. So the situation is really uh, uh, really serious, and <clears throat> I'm very happy that the. NATO summit confirmed the facts. So we are not talking about visions, ideas, but we are sticking, sticking to the facts. And facts are really uh, uh, look, it look very, very dangerous. As a government and as a country, does Poland feel safe within NATO? Because in the past, to a certain extent, when Russia has intervened in Georgia and in Ukraine, it hasn't acted as a uh, maybe a sufficient deterrent, you could say, in some respects. So how does Poland feel in this current situation? Well, as a, as a NATO member state, uh, we, we do feel, we do feel uh, safe. Nevertheless, there is much room for improvement as far as our, our cooperation is concerned. The only thing that worries me a little bit that the unity that we are showing is certainly, is certainly fair. But the perception of Russia within the alliance differs from, from country to country. And my view is that we on the eastern uh, flank uh, know Russia much better than, than our friends in Western Europe, for example. So uh, I can tell you one thing. When, when France or, or Spain uh, present the uh, problems in uh, southern, uh, uh, southern neighborhood, we are absolutely convinced that they have know-how concerning this region. So it would be good if our know-how considering, uh, say, the territories east from our uh, NATO border, uh, that we would be considered uh, those who are not only very sensitive on these issues, but we have enormous experience how to how to comment and how to read the uh, 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 Russian policies. Now, about a year or so ago, there seemed to be a, a dispute within NATO uh, between Poland, Baltic states and Turkey about a particular defense plan for your part of the NATO alliance. But it, it seems to have been overcome now. How have you overcome your differences with Turkey in this respect? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it differences with Turkey. It was. A, it was a, a, a wider discussion 
considering the uh, various tasks of Na NATO as a, as a whole, and it was a valuable, it was a valuable voice within this discussion. That's the way I I see uh, uh, our exchange of views with Turkey at that time and with any other uh, partners uh, within NATO. Well, at that time, as far as I understand it, Turkey was trying to say to other NATO countries that it was looking for more support in terms of uh, help uh, on its part of the NATO alliance in fights against terrorist groups like Daesh, PKK and so on. So does that mean uh, you are in agreement with the Turkish government on this point that there should be more help from NATO in the fight against these groups? Certainly, we, we are in agreement with Turkey on many, many issues, uh, especially as far as the southern and eastern flank of, of the alliance is, 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 is concerned. So uh, there are so many issues that, we, that, bring, uh, that uh, bring us together and I suppose our relations are stronger and stronger and what is, what is important for, for our bilateral relations is just a very long history of uh, uh, really good diplomatic relations which are now, as you probably know, older than 600 years. And what is also important, and one of uh, uh, Turkish politicians uh, drew my attention to the fact that, as he said, do you know how, how long did we uh, conduct wars uh, against each other? 25 years versus 600. He, and he says, show me another two countries with this kind of record. So I suppose this helps a great deal in, in uh, mutual understanding. Moreover, Turkey is a very popular country in, in Poland, not only, if, not only for tourists, but uh, also for those who have a, a, sense, of, a sense of history, sense of, uh, how should I put it, a, a national identity and so on and so on. Recently Poland became the first NATO member and EU member to buy drones from Turkey. Why did you do that and how does this feed into your uh, concerns about Russia's activities at the moment? Well, certainly every country wants to be, be stronger also in, in political and military terms, especially, especially when a war is going on, is uh, close to, to its border. That's absolutely natural. And we are, we are happy that we are indeed the first NATO country that uh, uh, bought this uh, uh, combat, combat drones. I must say it, this deal uh, uh, was very popular in, in the Polish public opinion that uh, got interest in it in, in the visit of our president Andrzej Duda in Turkey and also with, uh, with, with this deal. And also there is a lot of popular support for our military cooperation with Turkey, as you as, as you know, we have we have uh, about 80, 80 troops here in Turkey, and now we are going to to house the military pilots uh, with uh, F-16 that are going to station in in Marburg in Poland, in order to take part in the uh, uh, ba uh, Baltic uh, air policing mission. So, I mean, also militarily, we are closer and closer, and I suppose that perhaps it's a, be a beginning of a, a closer, even closer military cooperation. So the, the decision to buy drones, though, as well, do you see them as essential to defend your country in terms of what you might see as some kind of uh, aggressive action by, by Russia? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's not what we see. I mean, aggressive actions on the part of Russia are just facts. So it's difficult to, to, to argue about facts. As, as, I, as I said, when your two neighbors are at war, you cannot save secure. And one of the questions is that there seems to be, as you said, uh, closening relations between Turkey and uh, Poland at the moment. Poland has sent troops to Turkey. I think Poland is still involved in this uh, the NATO's very high readiness task force at the moment and Turkey seems to be becoming more involved in various uh, sort of military activities through NATO in Eastern Europe. So what do you see uh, Turkey's role could be in this part of the world in Eastern Europe? Well, uh, 
it's obvious to me that uh, Turkey is uh, stabilizing uh, many regions on the southern flank and also on the eastern flank. Uh, and it's certainly the, the stronger Turkey's position is, and Turkey is our uh, NATO ally, so the stronger is, is, is NATO itself and every, every uh, uh, member state of, our, of the alliance should uh, welcome this, this fact, because what's the alternative? Look around, look around Turkey, okay? Can you, can you imagine that NATO could afford say, uh, uh, not being there, certainly, certainly not. Okay, Foreign Minister, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you for having me.